Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how I painted this simple little winter scene called the fishing hut. And if you'd like to paint along, these are all the colours. So let's get started. And what I'm painting on here is just a piece of hardboard which I've primed with some light grey. And the first brush I'm using is this flat bristle. So grab a mix of black and phthalo blue and to set the scene we're going to work on creating a cold winter sky. Keeping it nice and dark at the top with lots of horizontal brush strokes. Now grab a touch of white and blend this in while the paint is still wet. Then it's just a matter of blocking this colour in all the way to the bottom, with lots more horizontal brush strokes. I would then let this dry for a bit. Maybe make yourself a cup of tea. Next, we're going to paint in some pale early morning light, which is just showing itself above the horizon. A very light yellow ochre mix, starting roughly in the middle. And as you move along, just let the paint thin out. Okay, grab some black and blue again. And this time we're going to add in just a smidgen of white. And we'll get to work on a wee hedge here in the background. I like to use a round bristle brush for this. Alright, moving on now and I've switched to my fine liner brush to outline the river and this is just a dark blue. I want to lighten some snowy areas now in the background, so I'm mixing up a very light muted blue. Brush out all the excess paint, then pick up some white. Okay, so far so good. For the fishing hut, I'm mixing up a little black with some yellow ochre. We want to start off by making a rectangle shape, beginning uh, just below the middle of the board. Then a wee roof shape. Uh, 
add a touch of black to darken down the side here and this will make it a bit more three-dimensional looking. Now, we need to build a platform for the hut so the man can walk around it. He might need to do some work to it sometime, so we need to think about that. Got my round bristle brush again, and I think it's high time we got some more background in. Some trees and shrubs. That's it, nice and dark behind the hut. And there's lots of other things growing over on the other side as well. Putting some detail in now, just a few trees here and there. I think we could have another wee branch just growing out like this way. Yeah, that'll do. Some more over here. And there's still some leaves clinging to the trees here, so that would maybe make it around December time or thereabouts. So hopefully by now the hut has dried and we can paint the door in now. That's thalo blue straight out of the tube and let's make it a bit wonky. I'm filling the roof in now with some more of that yellow ochre mix and with some light muted blue I'm going to have some fun now and paint in the, the snow covered shingles. This is the snow shadow colour. I don't want to make these too neat looking. Maybe make some of them a bit higgly piggly. Highlight a few with touches of white. And there we are now. We've got a nice snowy roof on our fishing hut. Next we want to think about getting the wooden stilts in that are holding up the hut. So again I'm using the yellow ochre and black mix. If this wee river ever floods its banks then these will come in handy. So the wee man who fishes here loved this particular spot so much that he decided to build a place for him and his little dog. He gathered up what wood he could find and with his hammer, nails and a saw worked away on it in his spare time. 
and again I want these to be a little wonky but nice and sturdy at the same time. Maybe make this one a tad longer. It can be quite difficult for a dog to climb ladders so he's made a special set here that aren't too steep. They're a bit wonky but they do the job. black for the little chimney that's poking out through the roof and let's have a bit of fun and make this wonky as well this is connected to a wee pot bellied stove grab some yellow ochre now which is going to be the base coat for the window light I reckon the guy who built this had a kind of beach hut design in mind I imagine he's got a nice comfy armchair in there beside the stove. I know I would. And I reckon I'll just highlight the front of the hut here with some touches of this yellow while I'm at it. Maybe there's a pair of rickety old ladders leading up to the shelf where he keeps his bed. Him and his wee dog could be, could be really nice and toasty in there at night when the stove's lit. Next we want to be tapping in a little orange for the lower window light, followed by cadmium yellow around the top. Pop in the window frame. Then follow this up with some cadmium yellow and white. I suppose he heats up his kettle for tea on the stove and he's probably got a saucepan to fry the fish that they catch from the river. Working on a waterfall now using black as the base coat. I hope it's going to look like a waterfall. Okay, we'll let that dry for the meantime. I want to get a nice dark blue for the shaded areas of the river. So blue, black and just a touch of white. And I think I'll put some of the same colour underneath our hut. Back to our waterfall. And I'm using more or less the same colour we used for the hut. Um, painting in indications of rocks. And there'll be rocks and stones sitting all over the place along a river. All different sizes too. I'm just going to put them here, there and everywhere.
mixing up a color now for a waterfall and uh, one a very light blue and it's not Niagara Falls we want here just a, a little water flowing down into the river nice and peaceful I think I'll use the same colour for the smoke. I'm doing a bit of highlighting now with white. Some dots here and there as well to show uh, the water spray as the water hits the rocks. Okay, hopefully that looks a bit like a waterfall. Moving on and mixing up a light yellow ochre for the light reflecting on the river. And this is a good bit darker than the sky. All right, I think that'll do. Time to highlight the snow. Grabbing a fair amount of white here with my round bristle brush. And I want to concentrate the white around the front of the hut and, and along the edges of the river. A little more over here, I think. This little edge here that's sitting out along the bank is where the fisherman's going to be standing. And we'll paint him in in just a wee minute. Okay, I think I'll stop here. We don't want to overdo it. Let's get to work on the figures now. The man needs a good winter coat on him if he's going to be staying out all morning waiting to hook a fish. And he also needs a good pair of welly boots too to keep his feet dry. You can't see his socks, but I bet they're warm and woolly. I'm not placing this guy too close to the edge of the river. Uh, don't want him falling in. Pop on his head and hands, which are white with a touch of burnt sienna. And I'm just going to lighten up his coat here a bit so I can give him a, a dark leather satchel um, that'll keep his all his flies, hooks and weights in.
to paint in his fishing rod and begin with a simple black dot for the reel. Then ever so carefully and lightly mark in the rod and line with a very small amount of black on the brush. And there you are now, he's caught one already. Looks like a whopper. I think he'll paint in a few ripples in the water with dark blue. Followed by some dots of white for the splashing water. And here's his little dog, who's just woke up after a good long sleep. He was lying stretched out in front of the stove all night, would you believe? And now he's out for a bit of fresh air and to help with the fishing. And as you can see, he's excited that they've managed to land a nice big salmon. So, it's breakfast at the fishing hut in about 15 minutes, I would say. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. So until the next time, take care and thanks for watching.